Obviously uh, disappointed for for everybody, for our guys. I thought, you know, they competed till the end, but certainly Buffalo is an, uh, a very talented football team, and I think that was pretty evident in all three phases. You got to give them a, a ton of credit. Uh, they came out with more intensity early on, and you know, put us in too big of a hole to climb out of. Um, you know, I, I just told the guys that I thought just our process in terms of the week of pra practice, the preparation, the focus, the energy level was where we needed to be. But and hopefully that'll start leading to better results. But certainly, um, you know, our guys are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, but you know, we, we've got to find a way to write this thing. And we've got an NFC North opponent next week. And, you know, I know that they're going to give us everything they got. And they always have. And uh, it's going to be a heck of a test. And, and we really got to, um, you know, be more disciplined, be more consistent in order to try to get on the right side of one of these things. Hey, Coach, uh, what do you see as an opportunity to improve the team moving forward? What do you see as an opportunity? In what regard? Uh, just the, the product in the field, what we saw today, you know, I know there are improvements that can be made. What do you see as those uh, Yeah, I think there's a, there's, I mean, there's a lot. Every area we can, we got to improve on many things. Um, you know, I think there's also just the discipline aspect. I mean, we were getting killed with penalties, and it's it's taking points off the board. It's extending drives. We got to be, um, you know, when it gets chippy. You got to keep your poise. We can't be losing players to, a, you know, a personal foul, getting in a shoving match on the sideline. So that was disappointing. Coach, um, you, you, you basically outplayed the Bills today. When you go back and look at the stats over 400 yards total offense, uh, you ran the ball well. Josh Allen only 218, two interceptions. Um, you know, where do you think that you know what went wrong? You know, for your team today. Uh, like like I said, we were we were in a hole. Uh, I want to say what did they score five consecutive drives um, after the, the we held them to a three and out and then the next five possessions are getting points whereas you know we had opportunities um, you know where we didn't always cash in and certainly you know having Bobby's uh, touchdown come off the board uh, it was a bad fourth down call by me it, you know they played cover zero and you know that's just tough sledding so we just got to finish drives, and, and you, you can't get that far behind against one of the premier teams in this in this league. Well, yeah, why did you guys take Stokes out for that whole bit? Uh, just you know, change it up, and you know um, that's why. What was or will be your message to Clay after the ejection? How much of a bind did that push you after you did lose Campbell on top? Yeah, I, I just think it's it's. You know, I, I don't know exactly what happened. I could not see it. But like I told him on the field, I said it's always the second guy. And you've got to keep your poise. And that's something we, we talk about, we stress all the time. And we show clips of guys around the league losing their mind. And, um, you know, it's, it's an unfortunate lesson that, he, that he's got to learn. And, I hope it's a, a good reminder for everybody on our football team because that's the kind of stuff uh, that I have zero tolerance for. I can it, mistakes are going to happen in this game, um, but losing your cool, losing your poise, putting the team in, in jeopardy, um, we got no tolerance for that. And is today more of what you need to be offensively going forward. I think we got to find that balance. You know, uh, I was super proud of our ability to come off the football. I thought everybody was blocking hard. Tight ends, uh, running backs, receivers, or the runners were running hard. I thought Aaron did a fantastic job getting us in and out of good looks. Um, you know, but I, I also think that we have to be able to, to mix it up a little bit. And, and what's so evident is that fourth down is a great representation of that. You know, uh, we ran that play earlier in the game. We were actually trying to run a toss. Um, and if we had two outside, two guys outside of where we were tossing it, we canned it to, to the uh, basically a, a, 
an inside zone, and they played cover zero, and, you know, did a better job than we did, and they would need a better play call. Did that play get blown up from the outside? Was it done? So clearly frustrations boiling over there on the sideline for the Green Bay Packers. You heard Matt LaFleur talk about the opponent next week. That is the one in five Detroit Lions. Right. They travel to Detroit trying to avoid a five game losing streak if the Packers lose that game. So what's their most glaring deficiency right now that they're going to need to clean up? He talked about the balance, but clean up before that game that they can really take advantage of. Well, I, I think offensively, I mean, we know the lack of explosive plays in the past game are really the most concerning thing. You're not going to get to where Green Bay and Super Bowl expectations with three yard throws all over the place. They run the ball like they did tonight, like we saw, where they just, whoa, they're overpowering you. You know, I would think the next thing you're going to see is defenses are going to overplay that run, and maybe now they can start hitting some play action passes and creating some, some plays down the field. But if there's a week to ever get back on track offensively, the doctor would give you a note and go, here, play Detroit. Their defense <laughs> stinks. That'll get you better, right? Yeah. And I, hopefully that can happen for them ne next week because Detroit is really struggling on that side of the ball, and there is no identity to Green Bay's offense right now. I was going to say, like, how much is this as a personnel situation? Well, 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 it's just it is it's a lack of weapons in the past game. It's Rodgers, I think, being more conservative, conservative than he's ever been in his career. Why? I don't know. But either way, it's leading to an offense that doesn't attack and is not putting pressure on people. And even tonight, like some of the run plays that they did gash Buffalo with, with I kept going, well, Buffalo was so worried about the RPO or the screen, the short throw, that they were leaving some gaps open in the run game. Teams are going to figure out the right formula to stop both of those. They're happy has to be something more and that's where he talks about the run game and the offensive line getting pushed like that if they can beat elite like that then they can start to do some things off of it hi i'm mike tarico and thanks for watching make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from nbc sports